Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Christina from Arrowwood Home. I'm going to be taking you along to show you some of the winter chores we have to do here on our homestead in Ontario, Canada. I use the word homestead pretty loosely here. Some people may not think what we do or have is even remotely close to a homestead, but that's what we call it, so that's what I'm going with. One of the things that has to be done every single morning is to give the chickens fresh water. We have a heated water dish for them, so it usually stops it from freezing solid, but it gets pretty messy because they spend a lot of time in their coop. So I'll just dump that out, give them some fresh water, and top up their food dish if needed. I also let them out if they want to. I did open the door this morning because it was not super cold, so I thought they could use some nice fresh air. Bet likes to run around and sniff in the snow and roll in the snow and just have a great time. She loves winter. Some of the other chores I'll be doing is clearing off the snow from the woodshed, filling up my wagon with firewood, building a fire, and shoveling the stairs. This wagon has been such a time saver for me. I use it for firewood in the winter because it has a ski attachment, which is great. And it has wheels for the summer so I can use it up until we get snow, still to bring firewood in. This was bought at Canadian Tire and it's actually a children's wagon, but it can hold up to 200 pounds. So I thought that would be plenty for firewood. We use a hoop shed carport thing. I can't remember what it's called, but we use a 10 by 20 structure for our wood shed. And it's just made of like a tarp material, which is great, but the snow builds up pretty high on the roof and we don't want it to collapse. So every so often we'll take this big broom and just try to sweep off as much snow as possible. It was a little bit difficult today because the snow drifts up next to the woodshed are so tall I couldn't really get close enough on the one side and then on the left side there's some stuff up against the side of the woodshed which prevents me from getting even remotely close to it but I can still knock the snow off from the inside so that works pretty well in a pinch. Our dog loves the snow, as I said, she loves chasing the snow, rolling in the snow. So if it looks like I'm shoveling poorly, it's because I'm trying to throw the snow in her general direction. She usually tries to bite it and it's hilarious. Her little face gets all snowy. So cute.
Once we were done with outside things, I came in to do the fire. I just did an upstairs fire today. I didn't bother with the basement stove yet because it's not too cold. Thankfully, we did a big fire last night, so there were still lots of embers, as you can see. This was nice and easy, so I just put in the pieces I needed, added a little bit of paper just to get it going, and it caught pretty quickly. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it interesting or somewhat entertaining. I think it's always neat to see how other people live and the things they do differently, especially in different climates. So if you're in a climate that does not have snow, I hope that you found this little peek into Canadian winter interesting. If you like what you see here on my channel, I encourage you to take a look around at some of the other videos I have and maybe consider subscribing as well. And if you hear any weird tapping noises in the background right now, that's my dog walking around showing me all of her fun toys she has. I'm currently sitting in my dining room instead of in my office, and she really wants to play. So I better end this video and go give her some attention. Again, thank you so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.